Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red. My name is Volans, and in the last episode we've been fighting trainers on the west side, or east side, I don't know my cardinal directions again. The east side of Vermilion City. And we were just about ready to fight this guy in the last episode, but we had to end it off, so we're gonna finish this guy up here. And I think, don't call me on this, I think... Um... Okay, that was weird, and I just had a pop-up that totally froze everything. Okay. We ate though we ate. Alrighty. Um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I think this is the last trainer in this route though. So we'll finish up here, and then we might go fishing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do. Sweet. That was electric. Yes, it was. I agree. Okay, I think that's it. Am I correct to assume that? No, I don't think I am. Oh, no, I think I was right. Okay. Let me just double check down here. E that's a long route. No, we got one guy. It's a creeper down here. Win, lose, or draw. Well, I don't have 21, so I think I'm gonna draw. Ha, ah, I made a funny joke. Poliwag. Wow, does that sprite look screwed up? Why does he look so fat and just like out of it? Like he just looks mentally out of it. Like he looks mentally incapable of fighting. Then a horsey, okay. I mean, does the Pokemon cry sound weird when you have the alert, you're low on health beeper going? Because it removes that, like, high frequency, um, like, section of the, like, sound effects in the music, so it sounds really weird. Uh, acha. Didn't go my way. Alright, let's just make sure there's nobody else up here. Nope, okay, we're good. Alright, I'm gonna go all the way over to the right and make sure that I didn't forget anybody. <laughs> Did I fight you? Yeah, I fought you. Yeah, that was the guy that I started this episode with. I am dumb. I fought you. And I guess we head through here, but I don't believe I can get through here because the lady is going to tell me no. Let's see. Oh, there's a professor assistant up here. I'm looking for Nidorino. Want to trade for my Nidorino? No. Aw, oh well. Hello. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item finder. So, Volans, have you caught at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? No. Oh, I see. When you get 30 kinds, come back for the item finder. How many have I actually caught? I own 12. Yeah, that's not much. Can I just walk through here with uncontested? When you go catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think up names? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them, too. This is just another route or something. Oh, this is the. Oh, yeah, this is just the uh, Snorlax. This is in the way. A sleepy Pokemon blocks the way. Okay, that's right. So I can't go that way. So I guess the next step is to take Diglett Cave. Um, I think I'm going to take Diglett Cave uh, after I heal up my Pokemon. And then we're going to, like, finish the section that's on the other side of Diglett Cave, because I believe there's like a trade there, I think, or something? I can't remember. Something with Mr. Mime. That's all I know. And, um, then we'll backtrack a little bit, and we'll go and get the bike from the bike shop, because now we have the bike voucher. So let's heal real quick here. And I'm curious what this guy who looks like he just came from a prison has got to say to us. He looks like he just came out of prison. My Pokemon was poisoned. It fainted while we were walking. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, let's go to Diglett Cave here. 
Now, I'm not going to catch a Diglett because there are a lot better Pokemon out there. However, I remember always coming into Diglett Cave and catching a Dug Trio. But I don't want to do that. What a surprise. Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. No way. The long walk of shame. Might have some uh, nice fodder, though. Level 18? Yeah. It's kind of low. I might be able to get away with a little bit. Nah, let's just run. Let's just use those, a couple of repels, because I did buy a couple. Uh, repel. There we are. Sweet. Alright, now we walk. Oops. Stupid D-pad. God, come on. I need a different controller before I get too far. Oh my god. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could light it up. Dig a cave. Okay, so I can't get through there because I need flash. However. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, hello. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. Hello, young man. I'm looking for Abra. Want to trade for my Mr. Mime? Oh, that's the, what it was. I don't want a Mr. Mime because Kadabra is better, and I already have a Kadabra, so I don't want yours. And there's nothing I can get up here except for maybe a Pokeball? I thought it's a Pokeball up here, but no, apparently not. Okay, that was a waste of time. Because I don't have Cut, so I can't do anything. Let's use that last repel here. Wandering through this cave of Diglett, what can I- Oh, come on. This has got to be a Doug Trio if it broke through the repel. Yup. I might- ca Oh. Wow, is that high level. I might catch you just for the sake of catching another Pokemon. Not to mention you are level 20 bloody 9. Alright. Wow, that did nothing. I hope I don't crit again, because that would kill it. Um... Do I dare use another gust? No, let's just poke a ball Wow, that was quick. Uh, okay. Well, lucky for me, I don't think that can hurt me because it doesn't affect me. Okay. Let's try another Pokeball. Alright. So, obviously that's not working. So, let's try just gusting again. And if it kills it, I'm not gonna bother. Okay, let's try one more Pokeball. Sweet! Okay. Never, I'm probably never gonna use it, but it's good to have. A team of Diglett triplets, it triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. That's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Transfer to the PC. Sweet, alright. So I guess it wasn't a total waste of time. Because we did it, I guess we did accomplish something. Now, the next part is I think I want to fish a little bit. So, unfortunately, the annoying part is I don't believe that there's actually a way that you can register stuff in this game. So you just have to open the item menu and do it every time. Let's see, is this something good like a Magikarp? Yes, it is. How low level are you, though? A level 5. Okay, I might catch you. I'm even able to damage you. Um, let's just throw a Pokeball at you and see how well I do. I might just throw you in the uh, daycare. Nice, sweet. Yeah, so now is the perfect time. I'm going to make my way back up to uh, Cerulean. Cerulean? Cerulean? I don't know. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna grab some Pokeballs here before I go, because I just used four of them. 
Hello. I would like four Pokeballs, please. I always like to stay around eight. It's a good number. Okay. And then... We're gonna go all the way back up. Through all of you. Around all of you. Goodbye. Sayonara. We're gonna go through here. In here. Down the eternally long underground tunnel. Is this a metaphor for the Underground Railroad? Okay. Up we come. Alrighty. I am gone. Now get my magic carp out of the PC. Then put it inside of this daycare. Oh, I need to actually. There's no PC in here. God damn it. I am dumb. This is holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Can I even come up from here? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I need to grab the Magikarp out of the PC because unfortunately. Uh, Game Freak was not smart enough to offer putting a PC in the actual daycare center, so. And unfortunately, the PC system in this game is hot garbage, so I actually have to, like, throw a Pokemon into the frickin' PC box. And then grab another one. And do it this way can't actually sort them like you can in Gen 3. I think Gen 2 is just like this, which is unfortunate. And then while I'm up in this section here, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna grab the bicycle. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Well, let's exchange the bike voucher for a bicycle. Nice, now I have a bicycle. Now, how fast are you? Are you super fast? The bicycle. I thought that said the super bicycle. Eh, that's not too bad. Could be faster, could be slower. I'm not gonna complain. I don't know why it has to, like, smoosh his hat, though. I can't get off of it either until I go back in. That's annoying. Alright, yeah, so, like, look at how his hat's not squished, and then I put the... Or I get on the bicycle and just... Yeah, just squishes the whole top of it. <laughs> In the daycare we go. I run a daycare. I would like you to raise my magic card, please. Then I'll come back eventually and get it when it's near Gyarados level. I still wish you could register stuff in this game, but I'm not gonna complain. It's pretty easy. Definitely makes running or walking technically a little faster, so. Wait, why did I come all the way up here for a Pokemon Center when I could've just grabbed the Nidorina from... I don't know, whatever. Okay, let's go back over here. We're gonna grab the Nidorina from the PC again. Withdraw Nidorina. And then we leave. And then we head back to Vermilion City, but... While I walk to Vermilion City, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So, in this episode, we got the bike from with the bike voucher that we got in the previous episode. We fought the remaining trainers on the route just to the east of Vermilion. Um, and then we caught a Magikarp, put the Magikarp in the daycare, and then now we're going to head all the way back down to Vermilion. And we're going to take a gander on the SSN. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. I really do appreciate all your time and consideration in watching these episodes. I really do. It means a lot to me. If you guys truly did enjoy, remember to leave a like and comment on this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. 
if you would like to receive notifications on whenever I upload a new video. But as for this episode, remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. I have to come up with a better line than, like, in, but as for this episode, stay safe, stay healthy, because that doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know. Bye!